Soldiers in the Idaho National Guard return from a year-long deployment to the Middle East in support of Operation Spartan Shield. A military reporter, Steve Dent, and today our photojournalist, A.J. Howard, went out to Gowan Field to capture this special moment. Families anxiously wait for soldiers from the 116th Cavalry Brigade Combat Team to step foot back home here in Idaho. The past year that I was away from home, it just doesn't seem real. It seems, everything seems like a blur now. And now that I'm home, I'm ready to get back to life and get back to my family and yeah, just live life again. The soldiers in the Idaho National Guard served as a reactionary force while deployed. They were relieved by other soldiers in the Idaho National Guard, but this group successfully finished their mission. Really words can't describe the feeling you have when you step off that plane and you make eye contact with your family member for the first time. And, uh, and, and that, that reunion starts and, and then you get, you get your life back to somewhat normal. It's also a special day for families as the Parrish family decided to fly down from Spokane to surprise their son. I'm the kind of mom who I've always told my kids I'm their biggest fan and I would not miss something like this and I wouldn't want him to come back with no one to greet him. Because these men and women deserve a hero's welcome for putting their lives on hold to represent not only Idaho, but also our country. Thank you to all the soldiers that have been gone for 12 months. Welcome we appreciate home. your service and welcome home. The troops spent 10 days at Fort Bliss in El Paso before they flew home and the weather made it a little more memorable after spending so much time in the desert. And I didn't expect the rain. I came from 110 degrees and now it's 32 degrees. So uh, quite the transition. Got my family here, Shay and Tyron. So uh, yeah, happy to see them. <laughs> welcome home, soldiers. Now tomorrow, the Idaho Veterans Day Parade, they will also have to brave the weather. That parade starts at 10 a.m. at the state capitol. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.